what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel and happy new year happy new year 2022 we're right here big bye we're back better than ever and uh and uh, you just gotta do your thing man so you know like the video you know subscribe to the channel turn on notification posts so you can start off the new year with a high note and uh without further ado Let's just get into it. So right here we have an article by Fadeaway World. I love reading Fadeaway World articles. <laughs> Very interesting. So we've got Luol Deng sets the record straight on his departure from the Lakers. There was no way I wasn't good enough enough to play on that team. He was quoted and saying that. So let's just get into it. So before there was a LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and a Carmelo Anthony. The Lakers were just a team looking for their next big talent. So the famous young core in that era was D'Angelo Russell, Brandon Ingram, Jordan Clarkson, and Julius Randle. Of course, NBA veteran Luol Deng was also a part of that crew before he was taken out of the rotation. So just to, context on, just to add on some history on Luol Deng, um, Luol Deng, I just know him from you know playing with the Bulls. He actually played pretty solid for the Bulls. So um, he was in that, in, that, in that Bulls rotation. Yeah, that's that's the point where he you know balled out pretty well but when he got to the lakers i think it just all went downhill so let's just go into it for a while he was being paid millions while not playing for the team at all and it's got to it got a little bit of attention from fans online so guys were you know uh wondering why this guy getting paid millions and is not even suiting up for the lakers so but recently lord Deng set the record straight on his tenure with the lakers team where things went wrong so Lowell Deng was quoted as saying as and everybody's talking about the money that I'm making I gave a lot of money back to get out of LA a lot of other people they just said nah after that I'm going to stay around I don't care what whatever and people could post whatever they want to post but the Lakers were not posting how much I gave them back so yeah but I'm always going to be the guy who who just took the money but I could have been somewhere else with the, with the same money playing. So I made a decision to go there to L.A. I never said I don't want to play. They just made that decision. So, yeah, that's what he said. Then he was also quoted as saying, even if you don't like the way I play, or even if I'm struggling, there's no way I wasn't good enough to play on that team. No way. And they showed out, and they showed out in practice. I showed it every day. It's a decision that you made and that you didn't, that you didn't want me to play, that's he was referring to the Lakers. There's a lot of other teams in the league that I could have been playing for. So that recently so that really the situation with that. So and that's how it went down. So that's what he, he was quoted and saying. I know um guys, you know, are coming at him with a lot of backlash on why uh, how things ended he some people can come up and fill false narratives and say this guy you know he just stole money from la but that wasn't the case and uh, he just came in to just you know set the record straight so essentially it wasn't that Deng pulled himself out of the lineup despite reports that his unhappiness with the state of the team it seems like he was more than willing to be able to contribute Ge Deng will go into minnesota for his final season of his career for retiring in, retiring in 2019 he is continu he continued to get paid by the Lakers for many years because you know in 2016 when he joined the Lakers he, he signed a four year 72 million deal uh, he his deal got bought out so there's an arrangement when you get bought out you get to pay a certain amount of money until that you know the, that thing expires so your contract is stretched out and you paid some money in the year through some years so that's what happened so. Uh, Luol Deng, um, he's a great player. I remember him for <laughs> embarrassing LeBron James. Um, I mean, Luol Deng is he's a good player. He's from South Sudan. And um, I just got to support our next door neighbors. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Luol Deng just came in and set the record straight. But I just know him from his Bulls days. He was actually pretty he was a pretty good basketball player for the Bulls. So, Nothing to take away from that guy because he did what he did on the court. So, yeah. So, that's your article by Fedeway World. I'll be reacting to more Fedeway World, new, Fedeway World news articles moving forward this year. So, yeah, man. To, to join in, just make sure, you know, hit the subscribe button. Turn on notification posts that you never miss any new uh, videos I'm dropping. And uh, with that being said, man, I'm out. Peace.